Bokitov Khabri, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. North Korea is not Syria. This is something that we're finding out in, in, in articles in the Russian language there. And it appears that Russia will have a much stronger stance for North Korea than they do of that of President Bashar al-Assad in Syria. Even though latest news coming out about Syria is that Russia and Iran have agreed to protect Syria of any other type of attack in the near future. But when it comes to North Korea, it's a completely different game. I'm going to share with you some information coming out of this article here, Israel Shamir's article on uh, svetprasad.ru in just a moment here. But let me first take you over here to Lorenzo's Already Happened, share with you an, an incredible image that he is showing. This is Russian military, heavy duty stuff headed down to uh, the, the city there right on the North Korean border within eight miles of North Korea. These particular types of, these are not tanks, these are anti, special anti-aircraft missiles that, that were headed down there. An amazing show of force by Russia. This is letting us know that Russia does intend to protect North Korea from the United States. An amazing show of force right here, you know, and I just want to share with you, what does this actually do? Well, on Lorenzo's side here, he, he gives us a little bit of insight on this, was the first air defense system, the TOR-1, was the first air defense system in the world designed from the start to shoot down precision guided weapons like the AGM-86. Uh, this is exactly what this particular machine here is actually designed to do and that's what is on the train headed down there uh, to Vladivostok there which is the city bordering North Korea. Russia very serious about protecting North Korea. In this article here if we drop down here a little bit further into the article and again it is a Russian language article I'm just using Google Translate right now so you can see this as well. Uh, actually I have sitting right out our, our my door here our um, Russian expert who is a former university professor of the Russian language that's able to give us the inside information about these types of articles. It says on here, the blow to Syria and the threat to Korea. This is the cat is beaten. The bride gives hints. According to the Russian proverb, if Russia does not have enough strength to give America its hands, it could help the DPRK defend itself. For North Korea, many Russian pilots fought and died in the bloody massacre of the, of the early 50s. Perhaps and now there will be volunteers who will stop the American blow. Russia could urgently put its means of air defense to prevent an atomic war from commencing 200 kilometers from Vladivostok. Okay, this is exactly what I was talking about. Unlike the weakened and demoralized Syria, the DPRK is ready to fight and is determined not to yield Russian support, preferably in conjunction with China or without. If China does not have the strength, will help the DPRK and stand up to a strike at the aggressor. Calling the United States the aggressor. Now again, we know that all the, the, the scenarios that happen over this particular Carl Vinson armada that was headed supposedly to North Korea when President Trump had ordered that. Um, the Russian and Chinese, they did tell these ships as they came through, they said they came within striking distance of North Korea, but never stopped. They went all the way down to Australia. The generals completed their mission there. I guess President Trump has given uh, his military generals too much leeway, as he stated. He's already given them um, uh, the, you know, their, their permission, so to speak, uh, to do as they will. Well, it seems like they're doing exactly that. Or as we mentioned the other day, the shadow government determines when and, they, when and where they will uh, shape up their conflicts with whatever nation they so choose to do this with. But at this point now, though, that the, uh, the Carl Vincent is headed back to those waters there. Says, yes, it is only a cat, but a daughter-in-law should not let go of such attacks on cats. Russia is trying to avoid a war with the U.S., a war that could lead to the death of the human race. It is right, but if you do not send a stop signal in Korea, you will have to repel the enemy in the sky of Russia. The DPRK is Russia's outer ring of defense. It cannot be handed over to the enemy. And this is the way Russia is looking at this. So it's a very serious situation that we're looking at right now. 
All right, now let's move on with this. Trump's armada turns towards North Korea as White House defends less misleading remarks. RT reporting about this already this morning. The ship is now headed in that direction. We know that uh, uh, the um, uh, Sean Spicer with the uh, secretary, uh, uh, secretary's office there, uh, House Press Secretary, he actually stated that, uh, or is kind of like playing this down all along. They don't want to seem to answer questions why Carl, the Carl Vinson didn't go to the Sea of Japan when President uh, Trump was speaking this all over the, the news everywhere, saying that he had, he had ordered this ship there, and then the ship seemingly totally disobeys orders and goes straight to Australia. Again, it seems very obvious to us, it is the shadow government really exercising its own authority uh, and it seems that they want to stay in good with Australians as well because of a possible world war they may be facing very soon. Maybe they felt like it was more important to do that military drill with the Australian government to be prepared for what is next to come. Uh, the Chinese also seeing this as well. The ShanghaiDaily.com allies silent over the show of force by the U.S. carrier. No one saying nothing about it. No one saying anything about why the aircraft carrier uh, was not going there. But of course, the Chinese are making fun of the fact, saying that, well, it was sleepwalking or um, it's an imperial as a paper tiger. Uh, the American imperialism, you know, so they're making fun of uh, America because of what's happening in Washington, D.C. But, you know, the situation is definitely very, very volatile as of right now. Russia also letting the world know that the mother of all bombs, the Moab, that uh, President Trump did not authorize to be dropped on Afghanistan, but instead one of his generals authorized this huge bomb to be dropped. Russia is letting the world know that they've got the father of all bombs, that uh, the mother of all bombs, an 11 megaton weapon, whereas the Russian equivalent to this is a 40 megaton weapon that supposedly has the strength of a nuclear bomb without that of the radioactive aftermath of that type of explosion. Just to kind of give you an idea, this was uh, Russia had tried out this bomb not too long ago. And I will show you that uh, that particular. Let me back up here just a bit here to where that was at. This was uh, Russia deploying this bomb. It's smaller than the American version of the MOB there, and of course, as you can see, made one quite of a quite of a, a massive blast there. Um, we are in a very serious time, friends, and as I have been watching as well, different movements by NATO. Uh, as RT reported uh, this one, this was back in February, that's an old article. Uh, we see the buildups in the Black Sea, we see the buildups all around Russia's border in Europe there. Uh, the F-35s being moved into place as well. Uh, just all kinds of things that are going on that lets us know we are on the verge of a massive world war. And it's not going to take very much to cause this war to kick into gear. I uh, saw this article too this morning, wanted to share this with you. NATO buildup in Poland, Baltic states, illegitimate ex-U.S. Senator uh, candidate Mark Denkoff stated, says the American and NATO buildup in Poland and the Baltics is illegitimate and provocative. NATO had but one sanctioned mission when formed during the Cold War, he goes on to state there, and that was to protect, protect against any type of advance on Europe by the Soviet Union. He says when the breakup of the Soviet Union came, then it should have been a complete breakup of NATO as well. That's his take on that. Another interesting article that came out on uh, RT this morning is a manhunt underway for a CIA traitor who leaked Vault 7 to WikiLeaks report. Well, so much for all the FBI saying that Russia has been behind all these leaks for WikiLeaks. Looks like it's going to be a contractor for the CIA who actually leaked Vault 7 files there. And there is a massive manhunt underway to try to find the very person that was involved in leaking all this information to WikiLeaks. 
Maybe it's the same guy that was leaking all this stuff about Hillary Clinton's emails as well. All the inside job that so many spoke about, but yet no one never really wanted to believe. It was too convenient to blame Russia. Well, nobody will pay attention to that now. Even though Russia would be exonerated, they're still headed for war one way or the other. And it looks like North Korea will be the spark that ignites the war. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.